not from hugging those blankies when I'm silently screaming at night. Oh, my poor mind. Mm. But that's beyond the point, ladies and gentlemen. I will leave this to open topics, open discussion. And uh, you know what it is, bro. Yeah, I got stoned. I got a little bit stoned and then forgot the main things that I wanted to cover. Let's start with this. I'm in Portland, Oregon. Okay, we've made it to Portland, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, we have. We've made it to Portland, Oregon successfully, safely. Other good news. I have the RV with me. With me. And a homegirl who can whip that shit like it's a fucking ghost. And she makes a mean piece of cinnamon toast. I hope y'all will get to meet her. She's, She's a little bit shy. Star. Cinnamon toast but, uh, dominates. You know, I won't say her name. I'll just call her Peaches right now. I really hope Peaches here uh, is ready to be seen because you no know, wouldn't be any fun any other way, right? But yes, I have moved my way out to Oregon State, Portland, doing my part to help keep Portland weird, keep it strange, bitch. And, uh, you know, rekindled a little flame with a little friend of mine who's into music as well. And she's really good at the beat. She focuses on the beats. And we don't have enough hot female producers in this game. So my next song will be produced by Peaches. And this isn't going to be like the music that you guys had to suffer through the last, you know, last month. I apologize for all three of those songs these months, this month. So I'll make it that much, you know, we'll make it that much. We'll, we'll leave it at that. We'll leave it at that. But, you know, no wrong just keeps on going unwritten. Keep it right. Keep it tight, baby. This is young Tommy James in this bitch. Now, for those of you who do not know, I give zero fucks. I put all my shit on blast. It's hard to put a motherfucker on blast who blasts himself, right? It's hard to shoot a fool who's out here doming himself every day. So let's just keep that straight, homie. But uh, we made it to Portland. We made it to Portland. Hell of a month, hell of a kickoff to the winter and the new year. But uh, you're going to be seeing some brand new cheer in the form of some dope ass music. I think she does videos, too. I haven't seen any of her music videos, but really looking forward to that. Now, I have family. I have close family that live in Spokane. I'll always come back to Spokane. You know, at least some point, if not the surrounding areas where my family lives now. You know, if I take that back. My sister still lives in city limits. Everyone else took my advice and got, you know, Spokane's dope, but keep your distance from the beast. Not saying it's the fucking trenches out there, but keep your, you know, Keep yourself separate. Keep yourself safe. I obviously don't take my own advice, but uh, Portland, Oregon's crazy. I can already tell you this is my speed, my uh, energy out here. And it's even more perfect that homegirl was out here. I was born here and never been here. Oh, I'm like charcoal. Break through a window. What we hitting like? The moon. You probably should have known. All right. Well, I'm happy you know that. And Oregon ain't shit. I'll be honest, Tater. Talks. I just, I w I've never even been here. I've lived, I was born here in a tiny, tiny town called Klamath Falls, Oregon. Never seen the rest of it. Portland seems dope. I didn't even see the point of going to Salem or anywhere else. She was close enough to Portland. That's going to work out for me. That's the city that I can fuck with. I fuck with the Northwest, man. What can I say, y'all? I've been down south. I've been to the East Coast. I'm a Northwest guy. Mm. 
you but yeah, the Oregon to Trail, to right? Let me go check that out. Let me go get blazed on the fucking Oregon Trail. I'll blaze that bitch. And uh, do some IRL out there. There's fucking a nice night scene and a lot of dope people. Now, now that I have a selfie stick, I have the speaker necessary for any kind of media messages or any talk to text that I seem distance and appropriate with. We're going to do this shit. I got the RV with me. Ah. Uh. Real killer like woke up feeling like real killer like no problem this is not exactly a show. not exactly but this will become the Tommy James lair you know fix it up a little bit for streaming purposes, for wild purposes, you know, for content purposes. Now, I plan to do a lot of in real life type shit, but uh, yeah, man, we like a beaver out here in Oregon, man. Looking for that beaver. Yeah, I mean, here's that's a legitimate question. Ima- uh, imagine being a gen. That's a legitimate question. I've been knowing that fool for about five fucking years now. He was my very first troll on YouTube. The first song I ever dropped, he was the first motherfucker hating, the first hater, first troll. Now, some would say that we're enemies. Some would say that we're friends. Some would say that we're frenemies. I say that I don't even fucking know. He's a full-grown man. He does his shit, whatever that may be. I do my shit, whatever that may be. Now, you can use your own mind to speculate. No, it's not cold. I'm not cold. I got the RV with me. The RV, I I can stream in, but homegirl in there, Peaches really does not want to be seen right now. She doesn't. She doesn't want to be seen. And I can't really blame her. I explained a tiny, tiny bit of what happened throughout the last month. And it's a good thing we knew each other before because it wouldn't have been a good first impression. And she knows your boy. (laughs) But with that being said, this will become where I'll probably stream when I feel like sitting down and doing a live like this, answering. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm missing the subject. The beer can, the beer can. Okay, the beer can. We went to the 2019th annual gathering of the Juggalos, the Super ju- the Super Gathering. Everybody was there. Uh, I was in the mosh pit doing my thing, high on a bunch of downers and nangs, you know, huffing on balloons. Uh, I think I was drunk. I was all hyper fucked up. That's dope. That's dope. I was born in Klamath Falls, and, and now we in Portland. And uh, anyway, with Skelly in the beer can, I'm just doing my thing, going fucking hammy in the crowd. Everybody's moshing, having a good time. Homeboy sitting off to the sidelines, helps me as hard as he can in the back of the head with a full unopened beer. Did it knock me out? No. Nah. Did it hurt my feelings? No. It exploded over my hard dinosaur dome like a fucking water balloon. The people around me were more shocked. They were like, homie, someone really just, was that on purpose? Are you okay? It's a gathering, man. People throw shit. I was like, someone probably just threw a fucking a fucking live one into the fucking pit. It's a mosh pit, whatever. Shit gets thrown. I'd be more worried about getting elbowed or some shit. But other than that, uh, didn't know who did it, didn't think much of it. About two years passed, and Homeboy did inform me whether, you know, his own, his own personal troll, whatever it may be, hey, Tommy James, I want to let you know, me, Skeletor, the Gizod, I threw that beer at your head. I said this on the internet. We were talking like this. Now, a lot of people say that's red flag shit. That's a red light shit. That's dude assaulted you. You really didn't do nothing. Bro, 
He tells me two years later that he threw a beer can behind my back. Like, that's a coward. That's some coward shit. Since that time, he had come over and had me do a one chip challenge, which I dominated. And I don't know why you took it down, Skelly. I ate three one chip challenges within an hour. And I was I'm very gracious to the chat who was in, ten, in attendance, everybody who donated for me to eat those chips. You made that stomach ache worth it. And yeah, after the beer can incident, I let him and 24 come to where my whole family was staying at the time. You know, no problem. Now, do we have some disagreements and stuff? Apparently so, yes. But I, it's, it's something I'm not really personally focusing on because, uh, like I said, I just, I've literally moved like three times within the last, you know, month or whatever. Actually, more than that, if you count the Airbnbs I've been to. So, So you want to show me the uh, what? What is Hammer going to show you the hammer, Amber, or is he going to show me the hammer? What's he got proof of? It's to sit on your face. She told me in the DMs, Amber, is this true? Do I have any guests backstage? A Amber, if you want to come on and defeat these claims, you can. You know, I ain't gonna lie. I did kind of want to see them titties for a split second. I did, but uh, I'm a gentleman. All right. <laughs> it's okay, Hammer. You don't got to DM me. I have a very sittable face. You know, I guess that would be one way to look at it, right? <laughs> and I know people like to give Amber a hard time. Man, I've given her a hard time because uh, some El Loco was fucking telling me the craziest shit known to man. About a lot of people. I feel like an idiot. We've already talked about that, though. What up, Dank? OG Dank and this motherfucking bitch. <coughs> so we'll look forward to maybe taking the shit out. We'll have Peaches take the shit for a spin, just me and her. I'd like to acquire a few cast members. That's another calling to this live. If you are in the, uh, if you're in the Northwest or matter at that, any part of the country, and you'd like to come on a road trip with Tommy James and Peaches for maybe a month, maybe more. Oh, I see about the month being a cap on something like that. Um, you know, we can do that. We can do that. Um, I'll have the, I have the RV with me. I have, uh, all the appropriate equipment now, most, the proper devices, GoPro, your fucking selfie stick, your fucking speaker. You know, I'm not trying to be a fucking, uh, IRL streamer, but it is something that you will see me incorporate as I document the journey. We got to document it, man. You guys love to go with each other in the chat. I'll tell you that much. Go with me, man. I'm an easy target. Quite so, apparently. I mean, uh, <laughs> it is what it is. You know, I put myself on blast, like I said, you know. Yeah, there's a lot of people claiming it. I want to make that very clear. I'm not claiming it. I'm not going to I'm not going to throw the speaker on and set it all up and uh have her be running around with the selfie stick acting like a Tommy James fool uh you know claiming some shit that I'm not a part of that's a community I've loosely watched and talked to very few people from so um and people like uh you know who don't matter people who uh pretty much an, impose themselves like force themselves into any community they can get into i mean come on there's a right way and a wrong way to go about that home girl and uh man she firing shots at a whole community of motherfuckers who are shaking their head right now like this crazy bitch but i was warned most of the people in the chat warned me
me or Hammer. You know what? I'll be honest, Gish. Between you and Hammer, your comebacks are a little bit more of a, you know, your comebacks make a little bit more of a sting. I would say you're uh, you're doing your thing. Hammer is an, a, a formidable opponent. I don't know if this is the same hammer that atta attacked my fellow ginger, uh, Chuck Reeves. But uh, hammer, you don't fuck with a hammer. A hammer going to come down on you. And when he does, mm, So let's see. We pretty much covered it all. We talked about Oregon. We talked about doing some IRL shit. <coughs> <coughs> new music produced by Peaches. All my new music will be produced by Peaches. And we're going to show the world this wonderful producer who can really throw together some fucking banging shit. Like, she always been good with the keys, always been pretty good with the technological side of things, but uh, she'd be a fucking part-time producer and don't know it. She just don't nobody know her and ain't nobody rapping over her beats. I told her, tonight, we're starting a YouTube channel. You're dropping your beats. We're, I mean, people will hit you up for these slappers, and then I have all these slappers, no pun intended, at my fucking willing grasp. Oh shit, John D. Gaff in here. Whoop whoop. Shout out Janny for uh hooking me and John uh D. Gaff up on your on your shit, bro. It was pretty fucking dope. I ain't gonna fucking front, man. Yeah, I know who Tommy R is. I'm Tommy James. Tommy R R is dope. Tommy R has done nothing really but show love and been a real one. Uh, DGAF's the, the shit, bro. DGAF, if you're not doing anything, I'm gonna be on here a little longer. If it you, Ninja, anybody in particular want to jump on this bitch, you got anything you want to say to the motherfucking world, you got anything you want to say to the chat, you got anything you want to say to me, now's a perfect time to do it. I'll say one more thing on a certain subject. I will say one more thing. Okay, I'll say one more thing, and then I'm going to drop it, unless somebody asks a question. It was pretty much a clear understanding not to make certain people that I just hung out with in Houston, Texas, a talking point, and for them to not do the same about me. Now, I've been doing my own thing. If you notice, for the holidays, I haven't been around because I've been doing shit. This bitch is streaming drunk for hours, batshit crazy, tearing other people, tearing people's kids down. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? Is this the same person I hung out with? Yeah, it unfortunately is. I should have did more research. I failed. <laughs> Say one more thing about this. She can come on here. This is your one opportunity. Maybe you'll have others. I don't know. I don't care. You said some pretty wild shit about me. I came with nothing but facts. You came with some wild accusations. Now, you are more than welcome to panel up hospitably and uh, give some backing to your crazy criminal claims leaving people liable and fucking all this other fucking weird shit. Fake police report ass. Fucking, man, I'm happy I didn't fuck with you any longer than I did. Actually, Tommy James pretty smart. He figured out pretty quick the dip. Wish I wouldn't have dipped before I dipped, if you know what I'm saying, but I did. But you can come on here and you can uh, speak your mind since I know you're definitely watching, or you can just recap it and uh, spew whatever bullshit narrative you choose to put out there. Just don't expect you to not get questions asked in my chat or me to acknowledge or to respond from time to time to your constant videos, your constant harassment, um, on and off the scenes quite actual death threats fucking ladies dangerous you're dangerous woman and I've been around some dangerous ass girls man 
for real. There we go, the chat doing their thing. I see y'all, I see y'all. Yeah, yeah, what you do for Christmas, John? Oh, there's a lot of rumors going on right now. Shit's crazy, bro. I was, you know, honestly, to be a for real MC wig split, I was not at first. It was completely like a platonical type situation. It was a chill situation. It wasn't like, uh, you know, it graduated week by week. It graduated. And the way that it graduated from, all right, see every day or every other day or whatever. Then okay, we're hanging out, you know, pretty much every day. Okay, now we're living together. Okay, now we're at a new place. You know, it's it was kind of a just an interesting graduation, and it, it allowed me to learn enough of what I needed to learn to protect my mental health and physical safety, and remove myself from that kind of a situation. She's watching. She can come on here and hash it out with me any fucking time, but. You're not a talking point around here. Like, unless somebody asks a question and I'm reading the chat and I really feel like answering it, don't expect me to like really, you know, you're, it's life, life goes on. Life does do that. Life moves on, baby. Grappler, grappler, fucking grappling motherfuckers, hurting motherfuckers out here in the game. He does fucking, you know, hey, I'm not going to say anything on that. Dope, bro. That's God. Glad to hear you had a good Christmas. And I hope you have a fucking even better new year. Siznak, that's a legitimate question. I will answer that. Let me uh, completely read the chat. So I'll make sure that there's, you know, okay, yeah. Getting tested. I already have an appointment. I'll live stream it and um, I'll let the world know. No symptoms, absolutely no symptoms. And the uh, intercourse was very limited for reasons I won't explain. Okay. Won't make any claims here. But uh, yeah. Mmm. Shit get bloody. Press, yep. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Dank been here. Dank been here. Y'all been here. Troze, what up, my dog? You're welcome on as well if you want to pop on before I end it. Just giving y'all an update. Northwest dopeness. Fucking more than no Northwest I ain't seen that I'm excited to see. You know, I know that people say they ain't, there ain't shit up here and, you know, what the fuck. But, you know, I got a dope produce, a dope chance to produ produce some really co uh, high quality music to make up for what you guys have received over the last month has not been up to a Tommy James level. That's why it's not on my site. That's why I do not uh, promote any of that. I didn't even want that shit out. Yeah, but Sisnak, yeah, I'd definitely be getting the fucking, getting the wiener fucking swabbed. No symptoms. Piss been burning a little bit, though. But I could be a couple different things. Mm. Said too much, Tommy. You said too much. And I will also make this known, and I have paperwork to prove it, that I go to the doctor regularly, especially mainly after sexual partners, you know, for own peace of mind type type reasons. You know, I was tested after being with my girl for five years. You turned out to be a fucking, a fucking crazy one, you know, real fucking, a real cum rag. We'll leave it at that. Bitch was a cum rag. So I went and got my shit tested. Good to go. You know. I'll get my, my shit tested after this. I'll just make sure we're extra good.
I don't, you know what, Jug Nishin, I don't think so. I, like I said, no symptoms. I'm good. But, uh, you know, energy drinks. Who knows? Yeah, and I will don't and I will be the gentleman, trust me, and I'll let this be known. If something like that comes out when I go in, um, you can bet your fucking ass that I will be the person to out that information. If that can see if that means that I, Tommy James, have to admit to the world and all the people that watch me that I was infected by this crazy bitch. I will be that person if that happens. Now, let the proper time fly, incubation period, whatnot, get it, you know, we'll get that taken care of. You know, it, it is sad for me to say I've been with a lot more scandalous women <laughs> than her, like a lot more. Um, and I've been, I've been safe. I mean, I caught chlamydia back in the day. You know, I think that, you know, a lot of, you know, that's like a male yeast infection, you know, fucking a dirty bitch. Who knows? You know, I got caught with the chlamydia a few times, but nothing that don't go away. You know, a, a bitch gives me something that don't go away. That's like, isn't that a crime? Like, that's fucked up. Like knowing that and doing that to someone. So uh, I ain't going to give in to the rumors and speculation. But you guys know me at this point. I got a big mouth. And if that means that I would have to admit that about myself to let the world know this person's dangerous, I definitely would take care of that. <clears throat> but you're not a talking point, Alex. I hope you have a great new year and continue to move along, you know, but you've been making several videos. So people are going to ask me questions and I'm going to have to you know, respond, you know. Yeah, I got a case of that trick. Whoop that trick. Get him whoop that trick. Fix that dick. Fix, fix that dick. Because it got the tricholitis. This bitch tried to get inside us. She's like a virus. Should have seen the evil through my blue iris. And I'm Irish. An organ with porcelain Mormons given to my organ. Oh, freestyle bars. There you go. I'm going to be honest, Jim. I wasn't so sure of that. But I will respect you with the response. I do not, you know. We're going to hope not, killer. We're, we're going to find that out for sure. Somebody's backstage. Yeah, can of peas is backstage. <clears throat> A can of peas is uh, backstage. Rocks in bed after opening <laughs> a can of peas under a canopy. Man, some of that music, for the comedic value that it is worth and for the memory, it's a memory in time sealed. It's not on my legacy, but it is part of my legacy. It's not on my public legacy, I'll say. So uh, that banana song is produced by Peaches, dog. You heard the beat and Dank knows about the banana clip. And I, the funny shit is I wrote this shit. This banana gun song, this song about bananas and guns and the, the fucking metaphors and, uh, you know, the double entendres. They kept coming and that song's a slanger and a banger and probably the best song I've come out with in a long while. So I hope people enjoy bananas when it drops. Make peaches cream. Mmm. Just call her Peaches. I think that's a, suitable for her. And, uh, I mean, I'm obviously out here in a fucking undisclosed location in uh, fucking Oregon. Fucking <laughs> not with her at the moment. But she's doing something and she don't want to be on stream. But you guys know me. 
you know I'm gonna get her on stream. She 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 better recognize. She's not gonna escape being on stream eventually. And that's like tonight we're supposed to make her YouTube uh, page, put her beats on there, throw her fucking shit out there, man. Bananas, something about peaches and bananas, like the fucking. Mm. I just think that should be your producer tag. Peaches the banana. Produced by Peaches the banana. Fucking shit goes bananas. John knows. He heard that beat. He was one of the few people who caught that. That uh, me practicing that song that I'm going to record. Probably my best shit in years. Actual years. It does look like a hunting blind. Yeah, it does. Mine is actually... It's <laughs> pretty right on with that, bro. But it's peaches. It's peaches. You know. Yes. Triple entendre. You know, there's triple entendres in the banana song. Bananas goes fucking bananas. Banana clip. Uh, that shit's gonna pop. Captain Flannel, nice to see you. What is good? The fuck is up, my dude? Chilling, chilling, chilling. Oh man, imagine fucking being a Janny. Why would you say that? Why would you do that to me, bro? <laughs> Yeah, bro. Yeah, I have heard of that, Captain Flannel. Well, here's the thing, bro. Um, you know, Peaches is going to drive the RV. I have the RV with me. She'll be able to coordinate with me. And I'm trying to get a couple cast members, people who know how to stream, who want to come aboard um, and at least make it some kind of fucking road trip. <clears throat> it won't be that much fun if it's just me streaming. I mean, let's be honest, ladies and gentlemen. I don't bring you very much over here, but my empty thoughts. Sometimes perverted thoughts. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me James. The buzz on the streets, huh? Well, these nuts. Knocker. Shit. <laughs> Buzz on the streets, these nuts. That shit was funny, Stone. I had to rewatch that. Now every time I hear something, I'm like, these nuts. Would you like me to pass you this? These nuts. I mean, you can say it at literally any fucking time. Peaches, or are you dating? Uh, you know, it's good that that's a good question to, to fucking ask Killer. You know, hold on. I was told Alex said you can suck your own banana. That's crazy, dude. Wow. Uh, that's not true. I'm not that flexible. She thinks I'm a lot more flexible than I am via the night that she uh, tried to get me to fucking uh, do some like ballroom dancing, throw her over my arms and catch her type shit all drunk. And I'm like sober as fuck, not even no weed with me. And I'm like, oh, man, how do I handle this shit right now? <laughs> yeah, there's, but uh, I was going to answer someone's question. My bad. Oh, can you make sex with peaches? Are we dating? Good question. Now, me and peaches had a little something in, in the past, you know, prior to my, you know, five year long debacle and whatever other debacle. She was back there a while back, you know, years, like six years, seven years ago. And, uh, you know, we're both Pacific Northwest people. I don't know. I, I don't know if she was born out here, but I do know she's from here. And, uh, you know, we're a we're Rekindle in a little bit, but, you know, right now I've been through a lot, you know, <laughs> you know, maybe I should go, uh, you know, 
make sure that I'm good and go get some blood work and stuff done before I go uh, make any anything with peaches right now. But that's not the, I'm not going to give in to any rumors. I do realize those that's pure rumor and speculation. No symptoms. Perfectly good. Perfectly good over here. But uh, it is a frequently asked question. So it gets a, it does get a, it gets addressed of that status. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you're dirty. She deserves better. Be nice, killer man. I'm actually a pretty nice motherfucker. If you get to know me, shit, I'm not all bad. I do a lot of fucking good, to be honest. I ain't trying to honk my own horn over here, but I do a lot of good. I really do. I'm, I'm actually a lot more of a stand-up individual than people would know or give me credit for. But that's fine. That's you got to know your own worth. People who don't know you can't understand. Yeah, bro. What the what the fuck? I'm afraid she would do some shit like that to me. Try and pull some some. She already does that in every title. The white racist juggalo junkie rapper. Tommy fucking James. I mean, come on, bitch. Damn. I mean, I smoked a little bit of weed tonight. Calm down on the junkie shit. I was a little smacked on some Kratom and, and you know, <laughs> I am pretty sure that's not something you should take with anxiety medicine. Of a benzodiazepine class. All, all prescribed. You know, no illicit substances for Tommy James, ladies and gentlemen. And I smoke my weed. I'm all about good mental health, you know. If you need to be on, a, if you're a fucking <clears throat> crazy fucking animal, like inside, like you're just a fucking crazy man and you need to, like you're like an animal, a large animal that needs to be sedated a little bit to, you know, slug around with the rest of everyone else. Yeah, you know, some people are crazy as fuck and they don't fucking want to admit it. And they won't get on the fucking medicine they they need. And they make everyone else's life a living hell. Now, I know smoking a little bit of weed. And, and you know, if I, I'm at a point in my life with panic and anxiety and all that to where I need, a, I need something uh, to level that out, that's cool. But, like, you know, you guys see me. You guys have seen me in a lot of frames of mind. Y'all have seen me drunk off my ass. Y'all have seen me fucking smacked off my ass you've seen me pretty fucking high stone you've seen me stone sober you've seen it all it's all out there well i would not be lying to uh you know comment on that captain that uh that, that was this <laughs> white people were a very big focus of uh most of our conversations <laughs> She has a very deep fixation on a, on white men, and I don't know why. But here's a good question, Sisnak. How wet did you leave her bed? That's a good question. I will answer an actual question. Now, this is something. One of the many crazy things she she said a lot. I think she said I scream in my sleep silently and have night terrors, and I. Uh, I wet the bed and I have erectile dysfunction and uh, what the fuck else was it uh, that I fucking abuse my family, that I'm a criminal and I tried to steal her identity. Like, what the fuck, bitch? Docs, my whole fucking neighborhood where my sister live at. Like, what the fuck? You're fucked up. You mad fucked up for that. And then while at the same time dogging on my city and on my city's uh, neighborhood watch, who should be respected. I respect this fucking neighborhood watch people. What the fuck? Looking out for everyone's shit. Now, people know I'm relatively harmless. I really fucking am, you know. I might appear to be a little bit fucking more extra than I am, but I'm really fucking pretty reasonable. Now, I did not piss the bed at all, but something I, uh, 
um, you know, I also have seen a little bit of thing where she said this and it was like, she said it was her couch, if I'm not mistaken, that it was her couch and Thanksgiving that she was so thankful that she claimed she had a nice host or whatever at the Airbnb. That was when we first got together. Do you think she would continue to live with me for two more weeks and then beg me to stay multiple times if I was wetting the bed or where I slept? For one, we never slept with each other in the bed. We never slept. Well, we slept on the couch together, but we never slept in the bed together. You know, we never... uh you know, I don't know what was she coming by, like wetting my white, smelling my uh, comforter and sheets and wiping it down in my bed when I'd get up. Like how she got the proof to make a claim like that. Like you think you'd take a picture or you would have some better proof than just saying some crazy shit that can't be proven. Everything I said about that woman coming with lies about me. So, of course, I'm going to be like, well, here's what actually is. <laughs> You guys can be the judges somewhere. Sometimes it's usually somewhere in between. But the bottom line is she crazy and I'm happy I'm left and I'm happy that I fucking reunited with Pages. Who's I shouldn't have any mods in here right now. Now I demodded everybody, but uh, I'll make a couple people mods on my other device right now. Says so there's a couple people in here who I see regularly who play the fucking game. They know about this YouTube shit. Let y'all fucking uh, get a wrench. Let's hand out a few wrenches tonight to those who earned it. Those who earned the wrench. Now, I will say the rule is don't be timing out people just because you don't like them. Let them fuck up first, at least, or something. Time out the time out any of the fucking bullshit bots. Let's see here. Oh wait, you do got a wrench, Stonehenge. Damn. Oh, add moderator. There you go. I got you, bro. You've been a real one. You ain't been on other than that comment you made earlier. I can take a fucking joke. So we're you're lucky for that. You too, Dank. You've been but you've been keeping it real lately. You've been dope. You know what? We're gonna have to hand out mad wrenches to a few people. MC Wig Splitter, you ain't done nothing but shown love and been dope. You'd be a good moderator, Warlord. Uh, who else? Take one quick one through, and I'm done with this. I'm gonna give out one random one. Actually, no, Jug Nishin, he got to have one. Ian Street Kings 509, you got a wrench. Damn right, Street Kings 509, bitch. Yeah, mods are up right now. Mods are going up. There was one more person. There was one random band, just because I think he's a decent man, a decent human being. And I had a couple conversations with him that were pretty legit. John D. Gaff, if you're still watching, comment and I'll give you a wrench, bro. I don't see you in the chat. It's too far back. You're probably busy. I got you, though, next time. Dank didn't get, Jenny didn't get fucking, he got a, Oh, you guys were trying to uh, ban each other first because you knew I was giving out wrenches. I told y'all to not be banning and people and all that gay shit for no fucking reason. I knew you motherfuckers weren't going to listen. That's why a few other people will not be getting wrenches yet. Uh, I'll get, uh, There's some other people. Sisnak, you might I think you might deserve a wrench. You've been a stand-up gentleman, haven't you? Truthfinder, if you want to come on here, you got to show me your face or let me know who you are. I can't just let a random avatar on. I don't know what you want to talk about. Comment. It, it, it piqued my interest a little more first, but you have to have your can't flash your camera at least. You know, yeah. I don't know what you're trying to do, but none of these stay up anyway. 
And this isn't a streaming platform. This is really for my music. I'll have a separate channel, but you'll see a lot of the documentation going through here and forward out. Now, I literally just got here and wanted to give everyone an update that I made it here safely. You know, we're going to deck this shit out for the time being, <clears throat> though there's a road trip planned. And, uh, you know, I'll get my lights and my computers all set up and everything will be crispy. Get it to where I can charge all my shit and do everything right out here. It's not quite a hunting blind, but it's the closest thing to it. I would call it a shitty extension to the house, but yeah, you can call it what you want. Yeah, there ain't no fucking fuck that, bro. I won't even answer that. You crazy motherfucker. Who else in here? What up, though? Everybody kicking it. Mod Big Will. Big Will would have to, I would mod Big Will, but he would have to come on here, have a normal conversation with me, and man, maybe we can get it cracking. Let's put it this way. The I'll make you a deal, says Nat. The only way that I'll give you a wrench is that if if you can get, get <laughs> if you can get me to give Big Will a wrench, then you get automatically get a wrench. But you're the inside scoop. You gotta, you gotta want it, you know. Which I don't think you really give a fuck. But if you really want it, I'm telling you, bro, get into Big Will's head and get him to come on the panel, talk to me civilly. He can still cuss me out and do what he does and call me a hack and all that other shit. But uh, you know, he might get the wrench. And anybody can get the wrench. Just hang out for a while, comment for a while. There's D Gap. Let's mod a couple more up. Yeah, I'm handing out a few wrenches tonight. Damn, man, I have no connection on this. I'm trying, my dog. Maybe I'll gain connection in a second. Yeah. But you, you, you get the mod as soon as I can get on my other device, dog. It's like dying or something. It's not connecting because it's so low on battery. This phone's getting a little low, too. I didn't bring my battery pack or anything, so I'll probably hang out here for, fuck, I'll shoot the shit for another 20, 30 minutes and then uh, answer a few more questions, and then uh, I'll get the fuck out of here. That would, no, we definitely, if we go through the Midwest, we're pulling up on, it, at bare minimum, pulling up on people. If you get, no, Dank, if you gave me a hundred dollar donation for real, I would, I'll mod Big Will. I'll go inside right now to where I can plug my shit in, connect, and I'll mod him right now. And man says, nah. But you, man, this is a preemptively thing. He's probably just yanking my chain. Do not fuck with the, ch don't fuck with the channel, dog, and go ban everyone and make me unwrench and unban everyone and do all that stupid shit. You know, I'll probably do it for a while. The Dickens and D's nuts. I've been fucking laughing at that, that D's nut shit for way longer than I should. NorCal in here? Where NorCal at? What up, NorCal? Lady Bathory, what up? Straight up. Straight up. You, you changed your fucking a avatar, bro. Straight up. I didn't fucking see you. <laughs> Straight up. Mm. Yeah. But you know what time it is. We're going to continue to move in a dope direction. Uh, continue to have a dope-ass year. Damn, it's getting dark as fuck, isn't it? Getting dark in this motherfucker. Probably go inside, enjoy some lights and some attention if she's not still busy. She was very adamant about not being on the stream. 
we should take bets on how long we it can take before I can get her. I mean, I'm going to film her without her consent or no fucking weird shit. But I'd like to get, she's a dope ass, makes dope ass rap beats. You people should know who you are. Oh, we're going to make her a YouTube tonight. And I'll fucking personally do it all and upload her beats that she sent me. And I'll just, I want the world to see this shit. Some real fucking rap beats. Like this bitch makes a beat that sounds like some, mm, it's like some grimy funk, like grimy G funk trap metal shit. Like it's some of the fucking most wild blends of shit. She's taken over a project for me now that I've been wanting to do for a while where I have all these uh, setups and instrumentals to set up some really dope Pantera fucking uh, sampled rap beats that would just be insane with some of dime bags licks and some of the shit that uh that comes with that man that'd be dope i've been i made a song or two that i really did like and i wanted i wanted to come out with that project as well but we're, we're gonna record the banana song first we're gonna call her peaches for right now peaches banana no peaches bananas because she go bananas when she gets behind that drum machine and her little keyboard and all that Let's invite custom to the stream. What up, custom OG? What up? Welcome. <clears throat> Thank you. Hey, it's nice to have you on here where I'm not having veins pop out of my forehead and acting like a fucking maniac in the middle of a fucking hood, begging to get shot. Yeah. You really, I'm not going to lie. I think about, I thought about that the other day. I'm like, man. Trigger, you're one of the few motherfuckers that can really have been able to trigger me to a large degree and I can still be cordial with you so props to you for that as well because I'm not easy to deal with my damn self yeah Thank peaches you. and so yeah oh man yeah, if it was the real controller who came in the chat the other day when I was live before I moved to Oregon, she was saying some, like saying that I did homegirl grimy. It could have been a fake account. I'm going to put that out there. But I was like, what the fuck? Like, do you have any idea what you're talking about? <laughs> Relax. <laughs> Relax. Let's live and let die. You know, this isn't no talking point. You know, a lot of people do ask me things and bring it up, bring that person up in the chat. But there's so much more going on in the world. Like, you know, fuck. You know, beg for attention all you want. Don't mean you're going to get jack shit. Okay, here we are. I'm live again. So let me see if I can bring my chat back up and throw a couple more mods on it. <clears throat> couple Let's more wrenches. The most people. important thing here. Where's my wrench? Yeah, hold on, hold on. I've been thinking about. I was. It's funny you said that because right after I modded John D. Gaff, because he a fucking stand up motherfucker, and he got a good taste in rap music. Custom. We've been through a lot, man. And you know what? A lot of people don't like you, but you know what? A lot of people don't like me. So if you comment in the chat. We might have to throw a wrench at your dome. I've already commented in the chat. Have you? Oh, that's right. You did, didn't you? Hold on a minute. Let me look you up here. Fuck. Making me do my work. Galtorius. I don't know. I feel like that guy needs a fucking a wrench gang, too. I'm just making a wrench gang tonight. Damn. Galtorius has been around for a minute. And he's been pretty on the ball. I don't know. With a name like that. All right, we got all the homies set up. Tendy's might get the fucking wrench because Tendy's been on the fucking point with some shit. For real, for real. Like, we're going to go and hit you with the wrench, whether you give a fuck or not. Just don't fuck with my people. Don't go ban everybody, and then I got to unban everyone and take all the wrenches away. That shit's gay. I, I mean, I'll do it probably, but only a couple times. I try to learn my lesson around here if I can. Play with fire, you get burned.
you saw me go through some pretty crazy shit when I was out there the last month. <laughs> that beats that kicks the shit out of last year when I was in Las Vegas. <laughs> uh, definitely some moments. There's a lot of good episodes of Cops from uh, Vegas. <laughs> yeah, there is. I was just well, that's funny you said that. I was literally just watching that last night. A whole thing about the New Year's. You know how everyone gets hypey and they have to bring out the horses on the strip and all the extra security and that watches a mob and muff. fuckers up for fighting and acting and <laughs> it's funny as fuck bro the uh, cops will fucking don't give a fuck they'll mace you case you shoot you in some situations avoid at all costs to be honest that's why when certain people made criminal accusations that hold me liable i was like what the fuck like this is some shit that if you aren't weren't already the most discredible fucking human being in the world i'd be like damn you were really trying to fucking get me like uh, some kind of felony or some shit for something I didn't even do. But then she took it crazier and tried to connect me to other people. And she's a little conspiracy tin, tin foil hat girl. That's for sure. And don't get me wrong. I love a good theory, but my theories are more history and facts than a fucking theory. That's one thing I do relate to your guys' podcast on you and stone. We have a lot of the same, I guess philosophies, believe it or not, people might not understand that or see that because we're three very different people, but we have three very basically. So, and you watched me, bro, for a month. I was, I was getting dominated. You watched it. You watched me on that Thanksgiving night, completely let her say the craziest shit. And I was going along with it. And I was saying the most retarded shit. I mean, don't let her trick you. It wasn't just cider over there. You know, there's a lot of vodka and other shit. But hey, good times. You know, something I won't be going to do anytime soon. You know, I'm very lucky. Like I said, I was just going to take a little break period, but I got to see my fam for the holidays. Overall, I'm not a fan of fucking Christmas and all that. I don't know about you. I'm not a big drinker anymore, so New Year's, I ain't give a fuck about. Unless I'm turning up with some fucking hot bitches or something, then I'm probably in. But other than that, uh, man, I smoke my pot. I take my meds that keep me chill, you know. And uh, we don't go overboard with the shit, but you guys have seen me drunk. Like I was telling y'all earlier, I think this was before you were joined. You've seen me drunk stoned fucking sober as fuck whacked off my fucking goat like you, you've seen fucking crazy <laughs> i think you respect my crazy a little bit now after that like you're like this tommy james might be a little fucking nuts <laughs> in his own fucking right he might be a little gnarly but i yeah, see the bit. thing i see this same in you i'm not trying to fucking you you've done good you know i don't care give a fuck what people say you know fuck i even gave you a wrench tonight you know you we're making stone proud right now <laughs> he probably won't believe you when you tell him that but uh no, everybody, like, I give everybody a fucking <laughs> chance. And it's, you know, you pinpoint the people pretty quick who are just banning everyone they don't like and whatever. You got to have reasons for that shit. Time people out, for real, but have some kind of reason. You guys don't like any timing out over on your shit. Yeah. No timing out, no. Uh, the other shit's way justifiable. I won't even get into that, but, uh, uh, yeah, that's one of the other few things you guys really don't let fucking fly as people just start, you know, that's one of the times you started getting me triggered because you were like, yeah, I do got power over on this channel, bitch. This isn't your YouTube channel. And you started muting me, kicking me, fucking, uh, uh, banned me, took my wrench a couple times. Like it got gnarly. I was like, this motherfucker who, you know, I let it get, to, I ain't going to let, I was, don't know what was in my head, but I started to trip for a minute on some dumb internet shit. I was like, what the fuck? 
I was like, man, I need to go meet this fool. That's why when I was in Sackdown and you were like, I'm only a couple hours away, you know, I was like, fuck, I, it would have made some dope content. I think a lot of our people would have loved to see that. And they still might get a chance. Yeah, I'm in Northern Kelly. <laughs> me, me and Custom. Or a revolving door. Glad you're still good. Yeah, good times. Yeah, I always look forward. I look at the good parts of shit. Like, you know, I don't focus on the negative and I don't regret shit. I'm like, you know what? I went through what I went through. Some was I, some was fucking stale as fuck. Um, whatever. It's life. I'm, I'm, you know, you become to start to be a little bit of a life manager, you know, if you will, a master at life, if you will. Like once you've been through enough fucking crap. <laughs> I mean, when you get dragged through the shit like a motherfucker, you 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 have no fucking choice but to fucking fuck up or die or shut up or vanish into obscurity. I mean, which many of us, many very well may, but you know, hey, you know, I'm here for the I'm here for the right now. Well, you could get some of the Jenny Lee. She stays drunk like you. You know what, Big Will, if you get on here, man, and you come on here and have a combo with me, you'd save Dank $100. So now he's invested. Unless he already donated. But I know he's fucking yanking my chain. But that donation does get uh, Sisnak and Big Will modded. Definitely. And no, not because I'm hard up for money, just because it's fun internet shit. I mean, to me, it is. <laughs> that sounds insane to mod Big Will. He'll destroy my channel <laughs> every chance he gets. Um, uh, fuck. That's actually probably the stupidest idea in the world. Um, same with Siznak a little bit. Siznak, you're the homie. I met you in real life. We gathered, motherfucker. But like, man, giving you a wrench entails a lot of fucking worry, my dude. A lot of y'all. Giving Spooky Tuesday a wrench. That sounds absolutely retarded as fuck. But that's just me. I mean, these people, I've talked to Spooky about maybe having like a little bullshit hour-long show once a week where we just get on, even if we just get on and roast each other. But people like to watch that shit. And Spooky has a disdain for me. And because of that, I have a disdain for that miserable old fuck. But that's a whole different story. I didn't come on here to bash motherfuckers. That's not what I'm doing. I'm just telling it like it is. I honestly, though, Gal, I was surprised to find out that I had more subs than Big Will. I thought for sure he had like a thousand or all this talk. He's the host of hosts. You know, he knows Project Born, all this shit. I thought for sure he had 1K and then he's got two something and I'm almost at 700. And I'm like, what? I'm like, I have more subs and it don't mean shit, especially at these low levels. I'm, you know, but like. What the fuck? Like, Big Will, are you mad that I have more subs than you? Like, what the fuck? Are you mad that I can hold more people in a chat than you? Fuck. Ah, people watch you just because you get triggered, and it's funny. And it's funny for me, you know, because when I'm not getting triggered, I love to see a motherfucker triggered. <laughs> I'm sure Custom would agree. <laughs> yep. Yeah. No, you're a you, hey, jug mission. Don't the, look 50 is a big number when you start YouTube, my dog. If you stay consistent, stay interacting with your peeps, you know, have some guests. All I still need to come on your shit here real quick. Like the next one you do, I'll fucking I'll show up for real. But uh, same with Janny. I missed his last night. You know, I owe him one. You know, these are some people who've let me on their little panels and shit where everybody's for the most part chilling. It's fucking bullshit and chilling talking bullshit <laughs> killing time really is where if anything what it is other than at this point i'm just taking a break because you know the whole way here and everything that entails with that i'm not looking forward to unpacking everything and then i gotta set this room up to where it looks decent to where i can stream and 
maybe record out here. I mean, a new mic would be way, way expensive, but uh, yeah, I'm not into all the engineer shit. She could probably engineer vocals dope, but I won't vouch for her on that because I haven't heard her mix. I'm the first person that's going to rap on one of her beats, and they're fire. Like, I'll play, play it for you custom. I'm going to make her a YouTube channel tonight. You'll probably fucking love this shit. Like, it's some real, it's more up your alley, but I can fuck with it because it's got a trap element. It's got a little bit of a dark metal element, and it's just got a gr the, some kind of griminess to it. Like, she, it makes me wonder what's going on in her mind. Some of these beats, I said something to like that to her today when we were on the way here. I'm like, what were you thinking about? Like, what made you put those sounds together, homegirl? Because I just got done working with a very novice level uh producer recorder engineer whatever musician in general um uh and that's saying a lot coming from tommy james i think custom would even agree and say that damn i've met somebody that i <laughs> that i musically enjoy less than tommy james <laughs> like she made tommy james sound worse than i already thought that it was like <laughs> get the fuck away from this bitch <laughs> quit letting her record your shit and i was getting so fucked up because i was like don't drop it it's not finished it needs this it needs that it's like i want to redo this part no she was so quick to stitch together and throw it out on her channel no, so I was definitely being used for a level of fucking content, my friend. I mean, I know that. But I also was like, hey, we can make some good moments together. We had a few good ones. So can we hear the song? Uh, I can't. I don't have. Well, maybe I can play it from. My, actually, yeah, I can play it from right here. Hold up. And now I didn't record the song yet, but I have the beat for it. It's a beat that Peach has made. Where is it? Hold up. Yeah, you'll fuck with this for real. I think that you'll, you'll, and if you don't, you know, talk your shit and put it down, put me down. But I'll uh, give you my honest opinion. You know that. Yeah. That's one thing I can at least, other than me and you have different tastes in rap. So, like, to a degree, me and your shit does not mesh a lot. But this has an element that I think most people who like music in general, are gonna fuck with. I gotta make sure it's the right one though. Can you hear that? Yeah. Bananas, bitch. Oh, this song is going to be called Bananas. It's going to be crazy. Some shit like, ah, uh, Banana Slip. Want smoke like Banana Slip. And, oh, well, hold up. Banana Clip. Got smoke like Banana Slip. And your bitch loves to lick on the banana tip. I'm bananas, eat bananas, three bananas, eat bananas. Yeah, I'm reeking like rotten bananas. Ah. Uh, a big red ape, I'm coming through the jungle. You just made a big mistake. I'm breaking your face and all your ligaments. Just hooked up with the stripper bitch. Her name was Cinnamon. Now I get it in raw. Tommy James all hitting in the jaws and I'm breaking them all. I don't give a fuck about the moral compass. Tommy James just come through and I hump this. Fuck this, rush this, a uh, motherfucker. I'ma drop it down deep for these motherfuckers. Drop the bomb, break the head, and then it shatters for days. And I can't be misled. And I'm back in the news again. Tommy James all over the place. It's a disgrace. Yeah. But she's fire. She did all these instruments. I like the oh, beat. Yeah. I like the beat. Um, it, it sounds like something that I've actually heard before, like with that guitar, like the do do do. Like I could have swore I've heard that from somewhere else. But either way, it, it's that type of beat where you're like, yeah, I think I've heard this before, but it's still good. Yeah, but it's okay. I can do something with it. I can uh, freestyle on that.
Oh, shit. I guess she ready for me. All right. It's an I'm going to finish this cigarette. I'm going to finish this cigarette. I'm not smoking inside. Yeah, I actually think I made no jug missions right. I mislabeled. I had a couple of my beats mislabeled. And I think he has a peaches beat. I'm going to go back in the emails tonight and God forbid, make sure they're not the same one or we'll mix that back up. But I may have sent you the peat. I better not have sent you that beat because that's for one of my songs. But link up with me and I but I think you didn't get that one but you got a peaches beat that I wanted to use but you like got you got real lucky if that happened because <laughs> I, I this is like a new producer like I haven't heard anybody throw beats together like this and inspire my words and match my cadences and and it's like just freestyling on it feels right like I can't wait to drop the song bananas and i wrote this song like three months ago like long before i even had the banana gun on deck before i had that full clip that full banana clip i, I had that song written so maybe that was you know that's the weird thing about rap is like a lot of the stuff i've rapped about becomes some weird <laughs> part of my life you know and now I'm with this chick called Peaches. I call her Peaches, but Peaches Bananas is what I want her producer tag to be. Peaches Bananas. Because the something about that song, that beat, Peaches Bananas. I don't know. Maybe that sounds lame. I'll let her tweak it or she'll probably fucking hate it. But, you know, whatever. Peaches. Peaches something. Princess Peach, motherfucker, on the beat. There's not enough dope female producers out there, right? That's true. There isn't. There's a few. And like, I've heard some of Roxy's beats and they're decent. She can make, she can put a beat together. I mean, shit, the clowns even supposedly bought one. But, uh, you know, that's, I, I have yet to see that or have proof of that. But anyway, um, but she can. I at one time was going to get some Roxy Red beats. Like this was a couple years ago before all the fuck shit. But um, she just was like, obviously busy i mean you, you the people who want the money and want to work if you're that lazy to get the money for the beats and you don't want money like that then that i'm not saying it's all about money but that shows me that you don't want to put the work in like you don't even like care about like it seems like an inconvenience to you when you're being paid not saying that was her mindset but i'm saying that she definitely slacked on it and someone else I, I think Shaggy the Airhead at the time got my business and I got a beat pack from him that's dope as fuck. Like, I'd honestly like to bounce all those stems over to Devereaux and have them all made into, uh, what is what do they call themselves? Uh, Devereaux the Airhead, their beats. I like those kind of beats. I don't think you like those. Those are some of the new clown beats. The new ICP shit, but I fuck with a lot of that, like, because it's it's versatile. You could do a lot over it, you know. You really can. Uh, but I, this woman is a really good. This girl is does not use logic or reason. She actually uses. Uh, she has Pro Tools. She uses Fruity Loops, but she has like the highest version of Fruity Loops and the best version. And a lot of producers use fru Fruity Loops. It's all about the files and packs you have. To put them, she has a bunch of weird melodies and fucking Middle Eastern sounding shit, like <laughs> fucking like evil shit. <laughs> but she's like the nicest girl ever, too. Like she's so afraid of the internet because I've kind of, you know, I'm a little open custom, and I did tell her about Houston and everything, and uh, she obviously was still down to like, you know, meet up, but like she was a little like. Free, you know, I, I hope I didn't freak her out too much, but, uh, she, you know, she does not want to be on the Internet. How long do you think it'll be before I'll get her to be on a stream with me? If hopefully you don't do that. But I don't think I should. You, and you know what? That's something I was just it's funny. You said that I just talked to my boy on the phone and he said, don't put her on the Internet, dog. You're a fucking savage. Leave that. You're a dumbass. Leave that shit to your own dumbass. Don't involve people with your dumbassery. And I'm like, ah, fuck it. Kind of. I don't know. 
he's just one of those people who can tell me shit like that. And I'm like, man, you're speaking too much sense right now. So maybe I will leave her off the screen. And she really is adamant she don't want to be streamed. But I told her, you can make Skrilla off them beats. There are fucking bigger name rappers and a little old Tommy James that will scoop up some of those bangers if you can get your fucking word out. I mean, you got to remember Devereaux, Shaggy, the Airhead. A lot of these dudes were nothings, no offense, years ago. we Everyone's been just nothings. Yeah, that, that was always funny to me, Killer, that people would bring out the junkie card and the pills and, you know, throw the pills in my face. But it's like, you guys worship a fucking middle-aged man in clown paint that fucking takes a bunch of pills, like, and is fried out of his mind on drugs. What are you talking about? Like, <laughs> it's usually the people that those comments come from. And I'm just like, I'm not trying to relate myself to Violent J, but I'm like, you know, yeah, he's got a fucking drug. I've had a lot of drug issues. I'm sure Custom has. He looks like he's had a hardened life. No offense, but you you've been through some shit. I've had to come off. I've had to. I've gotten my dumb ass on the shit. I've had to come off a of shit. I've had to get inpatient, outpatient, fucking you name it, therapies, fucking whatever it takes to preserve this little brain that I have. Oh, you know, just a little bit longer. You know. No, don't need to be out on stream fucking ODing from F Fetty in front of everybody. Which had to be kind of freaky. I think you were there when I had the line all out and then the camera cuts off. <laughs> I did rejoin, though. I rejoined, but I don't remember rejoining if I did. Uh, that was, you guys saw me at a really turbulent time because I found out that those kids were biologically not mine at all. And, um... Yes, my name is on the birth certificate like people have brought up. But she wanted the paternity dog. She legitimately, I don't think she knew. She wanted to know because she was way too down. And like when I was bringing it up, she was like, yeah, you, you are right. I'm like, yeah, we've been open like to a degree. Like we need to, yeah, you've admitted to being with other dudes. I've slept with other chicks, you know, which doesn't matter. You are the one with the baby. And uh, got the blood work done after they were born. And it just, yeah, within a matter of before, within two months, I was had my wa hands washed clean. Now, there's all the legal shit. This, now, the real dad stepped up. So that birth certificate stuff. And he wants to, he's gung-ho. He wants, he's happy about the twin boys. He wants that. So he's, they're all on my side. Nobody's like going to keep me on. If anything, they want my name erased. <laughs> Like, you know, I'm sure a few others might agree out there. Not hopefully not too many, but <laughs> there's a few. Uh you know. Fuck, she's gonna be pissed. I'm out here. So I'm smoking one more. My phone's about dead. I'll smoke one more cigarette and get the fuck out of here. You guys doing a show tonight or what? Yep. I'll pull up. I think I'll be up at that time. Unless I'm incapacitated or doing whatever I'm doing, I'll pop on if I ain't doing shit at the moment. But yeah, I definitely got to set this up a little bit better. Got dark quick on a motherfucker, dude. Is it just me or it got quick, like way quicker than anywhere else here? We went from full blown light to dark within like seconds, I feel like. It just got dark here, too. Yeah. Yeah, shit's fire as fuck, though. I could find my light and show you guys the area a little bit more, but it's not like this is the last time I'm going to stream or be seen. So, y'all, this will actually be my streaming private little man, and I guess actual little man cave. An actual, well, it's not a cave, but an actual, like, as close to a cave as it could get, motherfucker. At least it's attached to the house. But, um, yeah, that's, and then I do have the RV, too, which I could be, I probably will stream from that when even before the trip starts or if I do the trip. Like I said, I would have to have a couple cast members, right? Wouldn't it be boring with just me and Peaches driving around? Yeah. It'd be boring as fuck, dude. Nobody wants to watch that. 
they, everybody just watched me simp, simp with a chick for a whole month. I mean, they don't want to see me simping on another chick for a month. And she don't want to be streamed either. That's why she was all down. For, now, I warned her. I said, if we do this, there's going to be some driving involved. And if there's three or four people streaming on different cameras, I mean, you're going to get caught with the glimpse. But we can make it known to not interact with you. And, you know, I, I probably already said too much because the people who watch you will, you know, start giving peaches a bad time. You know, she the Internet scares her. She told me she said people are mean and people um people are disgusting and say mean things but i'm like that's the real life too though isn't it yeah i mean it's just people people i mean i'm a i'm pro human but i'm also aware that people equal shit and uh i mean i don't know i just you can't take some of this shit that fucking serious. I'll talk. I see. I saw madness was on your guys' show last night, but I was so tired from just getting in and really just wanted to set up and, and shack up that I didn't, um, I didn't join, but I kind of listened for a minute and saw madness was on there, but I want to give him one more shot out that, um, Hey, if we are able to fly you or bus you, whatever you're more comfortable with, or even meet halfway to a degree. I still got to stay on the West Coast, kind of, but he's Midwest, so we'll figure it out. You know, because gas costs money. I'm doing the, I'm the one behind the budget on all this, so I'm looking at how much gas is, how much you know cigarettes I smoke, um, you know, the weed. Shit adds up. Food. Notice that that came last. <laughs> You got a good thing. I think cigarettes up. came first. <laughs> the IRL shit's a little bit different than what it is right here. You got to set up things when people are chatting and sending yeah. the chats through. You got to make it to where it like pops up on the screen for everybody and shit. This, yeah, it pops up. I see through. these different programs. I looked into it a little bit, and I have the speaker coming to where it's it's one of those nice speakers to where for the talk to text to work it'll play loud enough through the chat and everybody will hear in the store or wherever I am. I'm not going to be out there making a complete idiot of myself, but I will be one of those jackasses with the speaker and the selfie stick running around doing his thing, you know, not all the time, but you're going to get it a well if I do the RV thing it'll be a daily thing most likely for probably about a month. But uh, I have to talk to a couple more people. I, yeah, Streamlabs, I already know how to figure out Streamlabs is easy. Um, yeah, that's what most of that runs off of, too, is Streamlabs. And then, uh, but anyway, if I could get, like, shit, I was even thinking you, even, like, even you and Blue together would be quite a fucking dynamic. Because I have to make it somewhat interesting for, to make it worth doing. Or no one's going to watch and no one's going to donate to our Juggalo RV. They're going to, if anything, try to bomb our Juggalo RV, anybody who knows about it. Which would only be the small amount of people who pay attention to you, you and guys or me. Or I'm not trying to get, I also want to make this clear, I'm not trying to get uh, IP2 affiliated and go all deep into the interwebs on everybody. I just think some in real life streaming shit and an RV stream would be a fun thing to do once. If I like it, I can do it more. I'm already to kind of stream. I already am always fucking doing this. You know, they would call us what a desktop streamer. Well, I do in my defense, I do walk around and do a little bit more than you and stone do. Well, stone walks home from work sometimes. But you guys don't claim to be I in real life streamers. You have a little hangout, you know. I want to have both. I want to have like a little hangout time and then a little walk around time and then just, you know, have shit to do too. You know, it can't just be pointless like some of these people that just go out and say the most ridiculous things and just annoy people. And if anything, harass the fuck out of people. There's a lot more ways. I'm more making a cock out of myself. You know, I'm the butt of my own joke over here. So, like, <laughs> you know, I don't need anybody to really razz on. I think it would be funny if Big Will was there, though. If Big Will and Madness, God, I think that would be so much weight for the RV. If you can get Big Will to come on, I'll come on. But 
You don't count my money, motherfucker. No, you. Here's the thing with the way this would work: is you'd have to have your own. You have your own channel already. You have to have your donations and your shit set up, motherfucker, to where you can make your own money. And we'll help each other. We'll help each other. But like, I don't know. This could be a zero. Do- I I don't know anybody who's gonna want to. See- people have talked about it, but I don't know how many people really want to see the Juggalo RV happen in springtime. I just don't know. Is there that many people who give a fuck about a jug? About a scrub ass fucking hip hop head? I mean, what the fuck? A white boy rapper? A white rapper? I don't fucking know. <laughs> you know what she said, that bitch? She said, like, once Eminem dies, like, they're going to forget about him. Then I'm mm. like, is that what happened when Tupac died? Everybody just forgot about Tupac? No, that's not how it works. Like, somebody, yeah. the legacy will live on forever. It's just sometimes the legacy the overshadows their actual life, was only a small part of what they blew up. For, some, for her to say something like that, especially, I mean, we already know Dudes the Goat has mad accomplishments in the game, but I'm just saying, uh, Man, she just makes the most boldest, and I'm not going to make her a talking point. She wants that. But I don't think that, I, I don't know, if you could see a couple of those videos I was forced onto, like the Juggalo porn junkies, which she re-uploaded because she thought it'd be funny. You can see how, un- you even pointed it out. You're like, man, you look so uncomfortable and ungenuinely, like, happy. Like, you're trying to fake it to make it. Like, you're, you're just topping along to get along. You were calling me out. I mean, maybe that's why I let some of that trigger me too. But I was like, man, this isn't that great. I, it's it's good, but this isn't as great as like I'm trying to act like it is. There's a bunch of behind the scenes crazy shit happening, which maybe if we streamed more, that would have been a little bit more interesting. But there was a lot of times that we just weren't streaming. We were like doing uh, anything but, you know, so. A lot of drinking. And I'm not on here fucking every day for any of the ladies. I won't say their names with the girls who are on there four hours at a time, three times a day. I mean, that's just not me. But the RV would be a chance to have it like a little juggalo, a little rolling juggalo show. It'd be good for the culture. My main thing is, would we be able to correlate this with concerts? If not, shit, I can do because I think I'd be the only I'd like to get another juggalo rapper on there. I think there should be two juggalo rappers and a couple jugs. Just people to watch the show, people to be there, people to fucking size up if the time demands for it. I mean, just a little crew, just a little motley crew. And uh, I have like some of the flags. I know you do too. You between me and you, and I'm sure whoever else would come on. We could deck that out to be an actual jug RV. Like it would look like something straight out of psychopathic. Old school psychopathic, like when it was the shit. Like I'm serious, but wouldn't that be cool if we could go to a couple concerts, even if it's just a Ouija mat show in the same town, or you know, make it more of a Juggalo RV experience? Maybe that's just me overthinking it, but I think it's a good idea. I just can't do it all by myself. So I'm building a little bit more of a presence. Did did custom just freeze? No, you're good. Damn, you were like still like a ninja. That was insane. I literally thought you were frozen. I was just about to kick you and everything and tell you to join back. <laughs> My cigarette's almost gone anyway. But yeah, uh, Jug Nishin, yeah, Jug Nishin, you'd be dope on there. I don't know why I didn't think of you. You're an actual juggalo. Like fucking save up money from work or whatever you got to do. Take a week or two vacation and come out here. We'll help you get out here or whatever we got to do to get you. You know, I really I've talked about this all throughout the winter and said it would be a springtime thing the whole time. If we're going to make it happen like now, it's like I got I didn't have a driver. That was a big thing. Now I got peaches. Okay. She's she's licensable out here. She's a good ass driver. She, She don't get all fucked up. Yeah, and she will be taken care of. She definitely will. I have a, I have a quick I'm question. Not like is this, it okay? Like I'm not, is it, 
May I promote the Unbreaded podcast on your channel? Oh, of course, of course. Yeah, do any. Pr- I was just about to say, if you got Please. anything to promote, do it. Um, um, custom OG in the chat, everybody, and that is the Unbreaded podcast. If you guys want to go over there and give us a subscribe, you can catch people like Tommy James, Big Will, sometimes Music Biz Morty's, like everybody shows up. You get a little bit of all the characters over there. You get Chuck Reeves sometimes. You get fucking all the characters, man. I'm telling you. A rumor comes through. You get Jacob who comes through. You get Madness who comes through. I mean, it's just Troze. I like Troze, man. I know people give him a little shit, but that's just because he's green. You know, people aren't used to his face enough. People get used to your face and they're like, oh, it's just this much. You know? You don't look that strange to me after all. But anyway, uh, <laughs> we'll do a little a little road trip. That would be the idea. We'll set it up to where it's just kind of streaming most of the time. We'll have multiple angles. And we can make it our own little thing, man. Uh, maybe even uh, Cy would recognize it to show it some love. You never know. First time ever done? That's pretty fresh. Actually, I'm, I doubt that's the first time a bunch of juggalos have gotten it on an RV. <laughs> that is not the first time. I want to make that very clear. This is far from the first time a bunch of uh, dirty ass scrubs have, have hopped on an RV to go to music concerts. All right. But streaming it the whole time to a, to a decent audience, you know, build up the audience from 30 to 50, you know, maybe build that up to 100. And then uh, get it out to the different communities like you just did. Check out uh, Stonehenge and Customs Channel. Uh, They do their own blend of free speech, politics, plus uh, not tolerant to certain shit. But, I mean, some shit's just really left field and weird. There's a certain amount of, like, there's very few people. I only kept, like, one person banned. And that's just because every time they come in here, they say the most terrible shit that you would not want associated to anything that you do (laughs) that you're like no um you probably know who it is but anyway uh i will make uh much love for everybody well that sounded weird i'm gonna make much love for everybody i'm gonna go hey (laughs) we see what i'm on y'all have a great night enjoy yourselves custom stay stay high Little nepotiz, no. I'm just going to say no to your comment. I've, I wouldn't even be in the same RV with that guy. I'd have to have money involved to even be in a parameter of that character because of what, uh, yeah. I don't want to end up being his type. Fuck that. And then what, I go to jail for assault or something? Nah. Probably be the other way around, but when Hollywood people got money, it gets weird apparently. Uh <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I don't want it to be quite that kind of a road trip. But we'll keep talking about this later. I'll keep you guys posted on the music and the road trip that's possibly coming. Got a driver. Just need a a small cast. So I'll talk to you more custom. I'll see you up on your shit tonight. Uh, Anything else you want to say to the people, dude? No, that's it. Thank you for having me. There it is, motherfuckers. Y'all have it. Y'all got it. Have a great-ass night. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. (laughs) 